Thanks for the invitation. I'm very happy to be back here. This is a place where we keep on uh, talking about Scruton and all those ideas which were unwelcome at other places. So this is really a, a, a cultural home for Scrutonism. And today I will talk about his relationship to Budapest. And uh, Akos asked me what should be the title, and I thought that this title might work. An Englishman in uh, old Budapest, not New York. <laughs> uh, and uh, of course, uh, it has got its uh, resonances at, as well. But uh, I will try to focus uh, on, uh, on, uh, on Scruton and Budapest. And as uh, Zsolt Német, uh, I also had this first uh, uh, division line that uh, Scruton and Budapest before 1990 and after 1990 was a different story. So that's why I gave this uh, subtitle because I think that, uh, that uh, both of them are independent stories but they are different. Why? Of course because uh, to be uh, an Englishman in a totalitarian state is a different story than to be an Englishman, uh, a, a, an Englishman as a visitor in a free city uh, and in a free state. And uh, this is my, my claim. Uh, again, I think it was George, or who was it, who called it a miracle in 1990. Uh, I don't think it was a miracle, <laughs> but uh, we perceived it as a miracle. And that's, uh, I think, uh, uh, a distinction that we, we need to make. I think uh, it was one of uh, those rare moments of one's life which, which will never come back. Uh, these, these, these are indeed the important moments. So uh, before 1990, this was an, an occupied land, uh, a land occupied by Soviet Russian tanks. That's, uh, that's the basic uh, scenario. And after 1990, well, of course, for some time they were still around, but they, they did not uh, uh, count anymore. So that's, that's the division line. What can you do in a country which is uh, uh, foreign to you, uh, but which seems fascinating to you, uh, if it's uh, unfree and if it's free? That's, that's, uh, that's my first uh, division line. Of course, sovereignty is an issue by now, and, uh, and we have to keep in mind that freedom and sovereignty is not necessarily the same, but, uh, but uh, just for, to make it easier, I, I use both of the, those terms there. So number one, uh, before 1990. The thing that we uh, associate with this uh, story is that here comes this uh, a uh, good old conservative uh, gentleman, I'm using the term old gentleman in the uh, inverted commas, uh, uh, because he was a, a young guy, actually. Uh, and uh, and uh, as a conservative, he tries to, you know, liberate, help to liberate uh, these uh, poor occupied guys. And that means that uh, he finds the other conservatives around and they will, you know, secretly uh, uh, um, try to, 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 to do the business. But that's not the case, actually, at least not in Budapest. And maybe that's one of the, the reasons why Budapest is a little bit different in, in his um, uh, imaginary than, than Prague or, or Warsaw. Why? Because uh, in, in uh, pre-1990 Hungary, the most uh, uh, you know, visible form of, uh, of intellectual opposition was the democratic opposition, which was, uh, well, uh, how, to, how to put it in a polite way, it was a, uh, let's, let's put it this way, a left liberal uh, uh, intellectual climate. And we, we find it perhaps strange. Here comes this uh, 
uh, good intention to conservative and finds these uh, left liberals. What, 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 how, what's the interface? But the issue is, uh, is rather different, I would say, because uh, most of those who came uh, before 1990 to these countries uh, as intellectual, whatever, uh, wanderers, uh, were from uh, themselves from uh, left uh, liberal backgrounds. So actually, that was the, uh, the general trend. Uh, you know, Derrida arriving here and, uh, and making friends with, with them, uh, or Habermas, this sort of uh, thing. But that's, uh, and, and in fact, I guess that's how it started for, for Scruton himself. So it was an Oxbridge uh, uh, adventure tour in which uh, he got involved and remained there and, and started an, a new story on his own initiative. But he was the exception, I would say, uh, a conservative coming over uh, here uh, and finding these left liberal intellectuals who are against the regime. You know, that's, that's what you have to keep in mind. Although, of course, uh, Jolt told us that um, he, he, he knew uh, Roger from uh, 87 or so. Uh, Ivan Baba is uh, a, another reference point uh, uh, who belonged to this uh, other circle of, uh, of the opposition, of the uh, pre-1990 opposition. Uh, uh, he uh, was uh, belonging to, um, well, uh, the, the unsympathetic um, uh, literature calls it uh, the populist uh, uh, side of uh, uh, the uh, opposition, but uh, let's put it this way, the, the, the Christian democratic uh, side of it, because uh, uh, the Hungarian Democratic Forum, uh, of which he became a, a, a state secretary um, of its government, uh, uh, had these uh, three uh, components, a Christian democratic component, a uh, kind of uh, conservative liberal one and a nationalist uh, dimension. These are the three dimensions of, of it. And uh, Ivan Baba was uh, belonging to that circle. But that was um, the, the exception and the majority were the other uh, sort. And we have also to keep in mind that uh, in, uh, uh, for, for the uh, uh, Hungarian, con in the hung Hungarian context, uh, uh, there was no institutional background. It was actually part of the Jagiellonian Trust to take uh, um, uh, um, uh, care of, of the Hungarian uh, opposition as well. But uh, perhaps Hungary is a little bit uh, smaller than the others, and perhaps because of this difference in the intellectual uh, 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 landscape, that, uh, that uh, there was no institutional background uh, for that sort of work. That, that makes it also different. And we know it uh, from, uh, from his um, recollections that uh, he had uh, personal um, uh, friendships with uh, a number of the key figures of the democratic opposition of this left liberal uh, 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 leanings, uh, which became uh, uh, the Free Democrats uh, after 1990, the, the party of Free Democrats. Janos Kis, who was uh, the president of, for some time of it, Miklos Harasti, who was responsible for freedom of speech, uh, for uh, the law of uh, free expression, and uh, uh, here we see Bibo in a different context. We uh, have heard about Istvan Bibo. It's the Bibo College. That's uh, this uh, college uh, of um, the law school of um, Budapest University, where the uh, where the Fidesz generation was educated. So the Bibo College uh, was uh, the place where he could actually meet some of the. Um, um, of the uh, Fidesz uh, people. But Fidesz in those days uh, was much closer to the uh, Free Democrats, uh, for, to the left liberal uh, uh, context, than to, to Ivan Babo and, and, and uh, his uh, uh, circle. And uh, Gabor Dembski, he became the mayor of uh, Budapest for uh, a number of terms, actually, so for a, a whole period. Uh, and uh, he was the publisher of this Samizdat uh, um, publication called Bessailer. 
So this is uh, his recollection of, of uh, what he uh, recalls from the pre-1990 world. And of course, it's very important as well that uh, he was aware of their embeddedness of um, uh, the uh, earlier generation. Uh, because these are uh, intellectuals uh, uh, themselves in their uh, um, early years of their career uh, who came from families which had uh, very good, uh, well-established positions in the uh, party hierarchy of the uh, communist uh, Hungary. So uh, the, the sort of uh, 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 scenario is that uh, the, these youngsters are, you know, opposing the regime and uh, trying to uh, publish uh, some is that publications and so on. And then if they, there is danger, you know, uh, mom or dad can uh, uh, call the, the, the responsible person who will take ch charge of the issue and that there will be no real problems. Which was not the case with the, the people in Bibo College. They, ca they were uh, um, uh, country boys and country girls actually. Uh, who met there and uh, got uh, uh, acquainted with each other, and who did not have that sort of um, uh, um, embeddedness into the into the party uh, elite. So that's that's a basic difference between the two of them. And I would call uh, your attention to these uh, um, two groupings: uh, one, the, the democratic opposition; the other the young, mostly uh, low students, but Jolt Nemeth, for example, came from Cor Corvinus uh, College. And I, I, I know this all, by the way, because I am from the same generation. And my wife uh, attended uh, uh, the low school in the same year uh, than, than uh, these guys. So I remember Jolt Nemeth uh, from uh, the Corvinus uh, 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 Reich College, uh, where he was uh, a, re a representative in those days. And this is the recollection of uh, uh, Tomás Gáspár Miklós, Gáspár Miklós Tomás, who uh, was perhaps um, uh, the most sparkling uh, uh, genius of this uh, generation, uh, a philosopher uh, coming from Transylvania. And uh, he became a quite close friend of, of Roger. Now, uh, Tomás Gaspar is a very strange uh, uh, story. I will not have time enough uh, to describe it uh, for you. But uh, the basic thing is that uh, in those years, he regarded himself uh, as a conservative. And I know this because uh, he gave courses uh, at uh, the law school in Budapest. Uh, so I, I heard him uh, talking like that. I, in fact, he introduced me to conservatism. And by the way, I did not know uh, Roger in those days. Uh, Jolt mentioned that I was out uh, uh, in, uh, in Oxford, but I was not introduced uh, to him. Uh, I was there in 87, 88. I think next year came uh, Jolt, and two years later came uh, uh, um, um, Viktor Orban. And the, the year before me came uh, uh, um, Sire. So I don't have uh, direct access to Scruton before 1990, only through these sources that, that we can, uh, we can uh, 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 consult. And it's very important for me that this is a topic which is uh, under-researched. This is something that needs to be researched. The, the Prague uh, connection is well established. Uh, through Marek, uh, the Polish uh, connection is also uh, quite uh, clear, but this one is not yet, which is interesting because the, the history of the democratic opposition has been written. But of course, they, those who were writing it were not really interested in Scruton himself uh, for obvious reasons. So uh, this is something which might be interesting to research on. How and how did he come about with, with these people and, uh, and uh, what was the consequence of that? And that I will turn now to that second part of my story. Uh, we talked about uh, 
um, uh, Kundera and his, uh, uh, his famous essay on the tragedy of uh, Central Europe. Uh, now I think that that might have been indeed very influential for, for uh, Roger, and that's why he might have been quite sensitive to the, the situation after 1990, which seemed for most Westerners uh, like, you know, bringing uh, um, uh, paradise to, to Central Europe. And that was not the case, <laughs> unfortunately. That's why I said that it was not a miracle. <laughs> it was just um, uh, politics uh, and, and, and history uh, uh, in action. That was our feelings uh, in those days. And what uh, he recognizes here is, in fact, uh, that, uh, that uh, Somehow, history is lost in this region. Although uh, his first uh, experience was how historical all these uh, cities and villages are. On the other hand, uh, that was the, the period when they, they were under uh, the pressure of the Soviet tanks. After 1919, that pressure disappears, but, uh, but uh, history as a continuous and, and uh, living tradition does not uh, come back just uh, so easily. So there is uh, indeed a lacuna of 40-something years uh, between uh, an earlier period, which was, by the way, not that uh, happy either. We are talking about two world wars and the Holocaust in, in Central Europe. So it means that in, indeed we have got, say, almost like a, a century of um, uh, history missing or uh, in chaos. So how can you make sense of that? How can you restart your country with that uh, background? It's, it's a, a, a job impossible, mission impossible. So they, uh, that's how he understands it. They needed to rediscover what they had been in order to move on. But it was not easy to find that uh, because it was so far away. You know, and, and as soon as uh, 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 the Antal government, which was the first uh, government, the Kamikaze government of Hungary, they turned back uh, to the pre-45 period, uh, that meant, uh, well, they are re restoring um, uh, uh, the Christian uh, 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 state uh, or something like that. So it was uh, uh, at once accusation of, of going back to uh, uh, a missed uh, and, and, uh, and tragic uh, and uh, uh, sinful past. So there is this lacuna, what can we do with that? And, and for the youngsters, it's even uh, more problematic. Mm -hmm. I was uh, 26 uh, in, in those years, in 1990. So what can you do? How can you define where you belong to? And that's um, a serious issue even today, uh, because, because the history is not something that you can recreate uh, ex nihilo. It's uh, something that you have to uh, either inherit or, or, or reconstruct for uh, you by hard work and by, by perhaps miracles. Uh, so I met uh, Roger in, in those years, in 1992, it was in Collegium Budapest, which was a newly established uh, uh, research institute uh, uh, up on the uh, opposite the Matthias uh, uh, Church in, uh, on the Castle Hill. And uh, he was invited there to an, an event where he was the only conservative uh, uh, speaker. We are talking about a conservative government establishing a new research institute where the only uh, invited speaker uh, of a conservative leaning was him. Uh, but that was it. Uh, and, and, and for some reason, uh, I found that uh, uh, relevant because uh, I, re I still remember it. And uh, so uh, he was still around. And he uh, kept uh, an eye on those guys both uh, on the Free Democrats and, and the young uh, generation. The Free Democrats uh, getting into power in 1994 with the communists uh, uh, from 94 to 98. 
and uh, the, the youngsters getting into power in 1998 uh, with the, the smallholders party, which was a pre-1945 party. So both of them heavy baggages, but, uh, but still a difference. If you go on coalition with uh, the communists or if you go on coalition with, uh, with the smallholders. And in 19, uh, I, I, I would like to reconstruct um, uh, a debate from 2002. Uh, it's uh, interesting because it explains a lot about uh, the perception uh, Roger had of, uh, of what is happening here and also of the perception of him by those uh, whom he helped in the 80s. So, uh, April the 10th, I did not check if it was before or after the election, actually, but uh, as far as I could understand, it was before the election that he wrote the piece, uh, Victor Orman's Triumph. <laughs> you know, uh, he was not the sort of uh, person who wanted to make these sort of uh, um, uh, for, uh, weather forecasts, so it's, it was not his sort. But the point that he wanted to make in this short uh, piece was that, in fact, uh, Viktor Orban will, will win anyway, even if he loses, he, he, he will win. And he recollects um, uh, uh, how he met uh, Orban in 87. So we are back in the first uh, period. He was a student at the Yoga Sak Collegium. He writes Yogus Sak Collegium, which shows that he does not speak Hungarian. But um, uh, it shows uh, as well that he was uh, trying to make an effort to put it uh, correctly. And uh, he describes uh, Bibo College, of which I talked already, as, uh, as a law school which uh, the students uh, had effectively confiscated from their Marxist teachers. Now, of course, the Marxist teachers were uh, uh, Josef Sayer and Istvan Stumpf. So that's, that's uh, something uh, interesting in, in its own uh, ways. Um, of course, it's true. It was uh, a party initiative to have this college, to, to help, you know, to give a, a playing ground for those who are too active and uh, might uh, want to get uh, into politics. Let's, uh, let's have, have them there. Um, um, you know, uh, place of democracy in their college. And Stumpf was uh, taking care of them, not to, not to get out of the college, just, just do it inside. So, and, and the claim is that, well, they confiscated from their Marxist teachers this uh, uh, co collegium and, you know, preparing themselves for uh, the government uh, role. But it took some time, from 1987 to 1998, 11 years. Uh, and uh, of course, they had to shift. So earlier, they were close to this uh, left liberal uh, leaning um, democratic opposition and turning into what uh, he calls he a center right party. Uh, with a decidedly Hungarian emphasis on the nation and its culture. And uh, Scruton presents their cause. Why, why was uh, 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 indeed uh, Viktor Orban the, the victor of this, uh, of this uh, period of um, uh, being on government? Because of uh, the betrayal of the Free Democrats, in fact. The free, as he explains it, uh, the Free Democrats, uh, uh, in a way, uh, they gave up their ideas, which were anti-communist ideas, at least uh, in inverted commas, and, uh, and that way uh, they, uh, they, uh, they lost their soul. It's 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 a, you know it's a heroic story, it's a, it's a, a tragedy. And uh, this is where the conflict comes. Uh, uh, Orban uh, and his uh, Fidesz claiming that their uh, earlier allies uh, betrayed them, and 
the uh, free democrats in their fight, in their political struggle against Fidesz, claiming that Orban becomes a nationalist uh, 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 tyrant. You see, that's, that's what is happening uh, in this uh, context. Anti-European, we were talking about Europe, anti-European, folkish, and dangerously attached to the old dream of a homeland that will unite all Hungarians. It's a direct reference to, in fact, uh, to the interwar uh, the discourse in, in Hungary, which led uh, to, to the Holocaust. That's, that's what is the, the basic uh, 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 accusation. And uh, I do not have here time uh, to talk about the other th two things. Um, uh, Miklos Harasti replies uh, on that uh, on the 1st of May, explaining that what is ex actually happening there. It's, it's online, so you can all uh, double check these uh, papers. Uh, and uh, after uh, Harasti's uh, accusations, which is an accusation both of, uh, of Scruton and, uh, and Orban, uh, Jonathan suddenly comes back uh, and, and replies. And it's a very uh, tough but very uh, correct uh, fair play answer to, to the issues that were brought up by Miklos Harasi. But what I will try to do rather uh, to end my talk is to refer to two more things. One is this, uh, this event which I was also uh, witnessing, uh, May 2013. Roger uh, giving a talk in the main hall of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences. And everyone knew that the Prime Minister will be there. And he did not arrive. So uh, Roger, well, it's time, so I, I start talking. Uh, he started to talk and uh, at, at the moment the Prime Minister arrived alone in the back door. And, uh, and that was uh, a moment, again, uh, very important, I think, because it expresses uh, Orban's gesture, that here is uh, uh, the guy from the 80s who is uh, at least finally arriving to the, to the hall of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences, and I will go and listen to it. In the same time, May, or, or one year later, uh, Jürgen Habermas, again, uh, the other guy, the, the left uh, icon, the icon of the left, arriving to uh, Budapest, giving talks at Utrecht University. The prime minister does not uh, go there. Uh, I wonder if he was invited. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I actually was part of an internal discussion of Habermas and the Lukács School at the Lukács Archive. I was in those years um, the head of the Institute of Philosophy of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences. So uh, in, the, in that position, <laughs> I, I was invited. And it was very interesting to see Agnes Heller, Mihai Vajda, all, all those figures, and Habermas uh, discussing, uh, what can we do, what can we do? <laughs> that, 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 that was what was happening there. And the other thing is, uh, I think that's my final slide, yes. Uh, to understand this, uh, this uh, relationship of Scruton and, and Orban, uh, I had the occasion to make interviews with, uh, with Roger as, uh, as a journalist for Heti Válasz on, on a rather regular basis in the, uh, 2000, uh, in the years 2000. So I know what I'm talking about. He uh, had that uh, very clear-sighted view of, of Orban as he had about, uh, about Thatcher. Uh, and that was something, uh, well, all of us uh, have uh, mistakes and, and faults and all that sort of thing. But uh, this was a, a philosopher's uh, uh, decision. I keep uh, a certain distance for, from real power. I keep the distance in order to be able to, to criticize power, because that's the function of um, the philosopher. He was a philosopher and a public intellectual, 
someone already referred to this, uh, he was a man of action, was it you, Titus? Uh, a man of action as well as a man of letters, and as a man of letters, a man of action. So it was a philosophical decision that um, uh, I want to take part. But I don't want to take part as member of the government. He never did become a government uh, agent of, of uh, the Thatcher government, neither uh, did he become someone who uh, would become an ide ideologue of, uh, of Orban. That was something that was quite, quite far away from him. So he had very uh, specific uh, criticisms about the Orban regime, even if uh, he supported the major policies of it. Because that's uh, the role of a political philosopher to have principles and to have uh, ideas and to check uh, uh, how reality relates to those uh, principles and ideas. So uh, he wanted uh, to defend his values and his principles, the values and principles of conservatism, uh, no matter who is uh, in, in power. That's, that's, I think, the right attitude. Of course, it's very difficult to do. Sometimes we are unable to do it. Let's, let's confess that as well. But uh, I think that's, that's the inspiration behind his, uh, his uh, approach to uh, all sorts of uh, power holders. So thank you for your interest.